Right now, AI can write, edit, and publish your content, but 99% don't even understand how good this technology is going to get. This is only the beginning, and it's advancing very quickly. In the next 20 minutes, I'm going to show you the exact automation system that's going to generate millions of views and become the new standard for creating content on a massive scale. I've tested every major AI content tool, built custom automation workflows for over 40 founders, and discovered what actually works versus just AI hype. This isn't just basic prompts. This is about building a complete automated content Content machine. By the end of 2025, AI content automation is going to be standard practice. The businesses and creators who master it now will have an insane advantage. It'll be like Usain Bolt competing against a McLaren P1. Even if you're the fastest content producer in the world, you'll always be outpaced by AI. Before I get into the video, I have some bad news. This video is going to be pretty long. So if you don't have the attention span to sit down for five minutes, you're probably not going to make it in this AI world. So here's a few things we're going to talk about why you should be automating your content, the three levels of automation, a framework that actually makes automations work, and real implementation with three powerful tools. This video will give you everything you need to start automating your content with AI today. Before I dive into this guide, I thought it would be cool to give you my background, what I've done, and why you should listen to me. So I've graduated college in one year, got my master's from Harvard, bought a house at age 20, I've owned and failed at multiple different businesses, now I'm the founding partner at Omega AI, which is a startup that's automating companies from the six to nine figure range. So the big question is, why do we want to automate content in the first place? So as you've seen, things have been moving incredibly fast. We have a lot of different industries where AI is essentially taking over. And when I say taking over, it literally is replacing large swaths of departments. Even right now, we are automating cybersecurity companies, SEO companies, and now real estate investment acquisition firms. So there are a lot of different things that we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis where I realized we're moving at a faster pace than I would have ever imagined. Back then, we had a lot of jobs that once existed that no longer do. Like there were people that had a job as an elevator attendant. Someone would get in and then they would press a button on the elevator and it'd be like, oh, which floor are you going to? I'm going to floor five. And it's like, oh, that job is replaceable incredibly fast. And so what we're seeing is this is happening at a very fast pace. In my humble personal opinion, it's going to be shocking in many ways. Some people have said that, you know, it's overhyped. But I don't think that's the case here. I think things are moving at such a fast pace. And from what you saw earlier in the video, though it may not be perfect, it can do what I want it to do. It just needs more training data. It needs just like more input feedback for it to be on this level where I really just have to like give it an idea. And then it could essentially model out what I want for the content pieces that can go out. That video was also only trained on one minute of my voice. Just thinking it through, there's, there's almost no bounds to what this will turn into. So there's a lot of things I have been manually doing that I can't believe I wasted time on. I've automated a lot of my home. I have groceries being delivered to me, email automations, business automations, you know, lots of lifestyle design. And like anything I do twice, there should be a process for it. And if there's a process for it, it can be automated. For example, like me, I'm, I'm a complete minimalist. So I'll have one outfit every single day and it just helps with laundry. It helps with decision fatigue. I just wake up, I know exactly what I'm wearing. So over time I've saved hundreds to thousands of hours of my life reinvesting it back into myself or using it for other high leverage activities. It's something that I continuously do. It's like, how can I reclaim more of my time? How can I eliminate, automate, delegate things out so that I only focus on the most important things in my life? Now I'm redirecting this channel to essentially go in this way where I can show people how to get more time back or how to efficiently allocate their existing time to essentially 10 to 100x results. So there there are three levels of content automation. Level one is the most basic. It's, it's essentially just automating something. Level two is what I used earlier. It's AI assisted generation. There's still a lot of human input involved and same with like level one. It's all human input involved. But once you set it up, it essentially can run as long as you keep it going. So it's like a one-time system that produces results indefinitely. These are the things I like building. One-time efforts that produce
produces results going forward. It doesn't stop unless I shut it down. And then level three is end-to-end -end content pipeline. It's like, let's say some industry news happens. Automatically, you know, something will scrape that news article, synthesize it down, transform it into an original piece of content, and then it automatically posts things going out into Instagram, social media, or any other platform. As more and more tasks and jobs get replaced by AI, we want to position ourselves in a way where these things are already set up. And as it keeps coming, we just like leverage it in the right way. And now that everything's set up, we don't have to worry about like resetting it up. So here's why people fail at automating things. They skip these three critical elements. There are certain things where human oversight is still necessary. And you really don't want to like completely delegate it out unless it absolutely sounds just like like you like first off is it good is the quality there and number two is is it scalable and like as growth happens does our company also grow with like some of these things that are out online and then number three is integration capabilities some tools are not compatible with other tools and so there's a lot of human oversight that's needed per like tool that needs to happen with content automation so if you want to follow me along as I put these automations together I did put together a free guide in the description below where you can walk through the steps with me. I put detailed notes, I linked all the tools, and it'll just make the process easier as you put it together yourself. So as I'm building out automations for my own company and my own social media pages, I realized why don't I just put a video together and since I'm gonna be setting this up anyways, I'm gonna just do it with, with you guys and not like, you know, pretend like I, I know everything. So the first platform we're gonna use is Eleven Labs, which essentially replicates our voice. It's gonna be our voice clone for the content content that we're gonna make. And I think it's like the best so far that I've used, but essentially it can do text to speech, speech to speech, dubbing, and then it can do sound effects and also voice cloning, which is what we're going to do. It has a database of existing voices that you can use for content. But in our case, just like the video you saw earlier, we're going to use it to generate our own voice. So what we're going to do is we're gonna just go to the app, sign up for a free account, get started for free, and it'll take you to like just this platform that you can use. What you want to do is go to voices and this will require you to sign up for a premium account. And again, I'll link all the links in the description below, but you're going to add a voice and then it's going to be right here, instant voice clone. So you're going to do that. You can upload an uh, a audio file, which is what I did. The other thing is you can record an audio into this right from your computer, but essentially the voice is right here. So you just literally upload a file or you just record it on the spot, but it'll then give you a voice. We can then just generate, you know, text to speech so we can input something like you can give ChatGPT a script and then it can then essentially just like record it. It'll then like generate a speech with what you can use. So this is like the most recent one with the voice I just used. I had ChatGPT generate a list of sentences and I just read it off where it had like a wide array of different, I guess like ways where all the different vowels and sounds of the English dictionary was used. And so like there's different things where I enunciate my voice, where it'll get like all the different tonalities. So I will link that in the guide as well, or I'll have a section in that so that when you do train your audio file, you can just read off those sentences and it'll sound better. So this recording was actually not that good. But the next thing we want to do is we want to go to HeyGen, which is essentially your avatar clone tool. What we want to do is we want to go to avatars and I already created two different avatars, but what we want to do is we want to add a new look, upload a footage, or you can record with a webcam. From what I saw or from my experience, this isn't necessarily the best way to do it. The best way to do it is actually you record it with a webcam. I'm not going to do it because it's going to kill the recording. Essentially, you'll just like record, turn on your, your cam and mic, and then literally what you want to do is you want to look into the camera the entire time and just talk and like have enough gestures in the video, like subtle arm movements or just like not where it looks like, oh, this is AI. Like you want to have enough movements where it looks natural and it also can like fit in with a multitude of different contexts. So turn on your mic and cam, and then after you submitted it, it'll then get uploaded into your different avatar. So it, it will take some time, but it, sh it shouldn't be more than like 10 minutes, but then you will then have your avatar where it'll then just like play and it'll then show you like what this looks like. And then you can then use it for a wide variety of like different content uses. 
So what we want to do now is create a video and it'll be an avatar video. So I'm gonna create a video landscape. I'm gonna use like me, cause I think, you know, it'll be best. And then here's a little script. And then we then wanna connect our voice. What we wanna do is we wanna take the API from Eleven Labs and we wanna create an API key. We're gonna go here and we're gonna integrate a third party voice and then we're gonna import our voice. It's gonna be from Eleven Labs and then you paste your API key there. You're gonna click confirm and then it's gonna be ready for you in your voices and it's gonna have Eleven Labs right there. And so you can then just like submit, generate a video, let's do a tutorial video. And then depending on the premium plan or the plan that you have, like if you want the premium, it'll give you better quality videos. And it'll also remove like this watermark at the bottom of your video, but then you submit and then you essentially just let it generate and then it'll have your thing essentially ready to go. So the next tool we're going to use is mini chats, which essentially acts as a tool where you can have conversations with your audience. And it's not only Instagram, but it's on WhatsApp, Facebook, you can do emails and also iMessage. But for this, I'm just gonna use Instagram as the uh, example here. And you wanna sign in, create an account, and then connect it to your business. So we're going to actually switch my account, the automated founder. So we're gonna go here, and then we're gonna set up an automatic reply to a DM. And so whenever a user comments on our post or a reel, we will then like send them a message and then it will tell them to go to this link. So with this automation, we're gonna be like, okay, anytime a user comments on our post or Instagram reel, it'll then send them a message, which then, you know, they can then see like how that goes or then they'll like get a response to a link to a newsletter. So for this, we're gonna like implement our newsletter for this. Whenever somebody posts on our reel, so I have a post right here, here, it essentially is just a logo of Omega. And then we're gonna do founder. If they comment the word founder, it'll then send them a message. So that's perfect. So anytime somebody comments founder on this post, it'll then send them a message. Then it's saved, perfect. I'm actually gonna delete this and we're gonna redo it as a open website. Theautomatedfounder.com. It's like join the newsletter perfect we do done and then for this we're going to remove this button get the newsletter here perfect so whenever a user comments on your post it'll then send them a message but you can also have other triggers so if you have a trigger that says hey dm me specific keyword and then you can have the same workflow and it can then just have like a conversation so we're going to set this live and then test it right now okay, so we're back on this page so essentially like you know once you comment founder um then immediately that automation should kick into gear which you know i'll tell you secret link you know send to check your inbox but essentially when i did that it sent me a, a message right here where it says join newsletter and then it redirects me back to this page. And yeah, here it is. This automation allows you to do the same thing with like the Hey Gen video where like, just like how Varnum did it, you know, it says like avatar at the bottom using AI speech. Same thing with like Rowan, you know, it's the same type of stuff where you just put it all together. And then the way he captures leads is, you know, comment boost, it then ties into his offer, whatever that is. But then, yeah, you can redirect it to his newsletter. It looks like he's directing it to his newsletter. But yeah, simple, easy process that other creators are already using. Just a reminder, if you guys wanna have access to the same content automation guide, you can get it in the first link in the description below. And with the right guidance, anyone can start automating their business. We've helped many founders leverage AI and automations to elevate their business and scale. If you're a six to nine figure founder, click the link to book a call with us in the description below. And we'll help support you in positioning yourself to crush in the AI economy. I'll see you in the next one.